I um I watched a video by uh, somebody on here. That's not, I don't know if I should call him friend, but kind of a comrade in arms. <laughs> this is a Roman Catholic who <clears throat> defended me against the Gnostics and the the heretics and even the super Roman Catholics, like the old Roman Catholic, I guess they call themselves. As I would have defended him had any uh, these true or, or Taliban Orthodox come after him. And he sent me a video on uh, the Catholic Church addressing homosexuals uh, in the vortex. And somebody please remind me to put the link down there because I might forget. And I'll link, I'll actually put this. Um, as a link to Father Nathan or Brother Nathan or whatever his name is. No, it's not the, the, the Zion get guy. It's not that. It's some Roman Catholic priest of the old Catholic rite, uh, schismatic from even the Catholic Church, coming into the Antiochian Orthodox Church. And he says, one year this time forward, and this is 2009, so I guess he's a part of the church now, um, that he's going to be part of the Antiochian Orthodox Church, which would mean under Metropolitan Philip. And he says, Western right. I still don't know what that means. That's, here's the problem I face. My, my, this is my answer to homosexuals. Um, did you get it? It's utter and complete silence. I can't speak to them. Here's a video that's very nice, and I'm like, oh yeah, this and that, but at the same time, if I were to send that to somebody who's gay, it might be completely offensive. I don't know what they find. Uh, it, there's no way in dealing with this issue. Um, we may not like to call homosexuality a sin, and we may like to say, well, the person is not wrong, it's only the action that goes in every case, okay, and it shouldn't be extended out so much to homosexuals as it has been with this, I mean, pray the gay away and the exes, this is horrible, horrible stuff. Um, the cruel reality of it is if you're born retarded, there's no cure. If you're born um, in all these ways, there's no cure. So in sense, since you're telling them that they're born defective, which they don't want to hear, and I don't know if that's the answer. Um, and I don't know if I would want that to be the answer and not want that. I don't know. Um, how much more offensive it is to put it like that? Isn't that more offensive? And in the same way, I, I put a comment. I said, welcome, brother. I said, I hope you wait at least 10 years before becoming the head priest because there's all this Augustinian garbage and all this wanting to give people an answer sometimes the heavens are silent we know our God is a God of love that's the one positive thing we can say, everything else is the negative is unimaginable unthinkable, unspeakable unknowable, un inconceivable um and I mean, I, I can't say anything. God is God in action. So a homosexual would have to meet me and know that I don't have hate for them. And I know many homosexuals, and they know I have no hate for them. But for me being on a screen just saying, oh, you're just like a person like me and this and that, um, My sex drive is probably way too high for like <laughs> for an average person, but um, I somehow remain. Now, is it better to be like that, or is it better just to go out and do stuff? Because then, if I look at other people, well, I don't. People say, oh, well, they're doing this or that. Or... But it's kind of weird. And the same fact that I don't do that, I always think everybody else is doing that to me. It's like, oh, shoot, what am I, 
that's one of the things, like, in these videos, I actually told somebody, I don't really expect people to watch these. Like, I say stuff on here. And I talk to people, and I'm like, wait a minute. Because on here, I'm way too honest about stuff. And in real life, I'm probably, I don't know. It's just a different thing. Like, I wouldn't be talking to... I remember I was dating this one girl. We were in a bookstore. We were dating for a while. And she turns to me, she goes, Do you believe in the resurrection of Christ? And I said, Yeah. And she goes, Oh, good, me too. Um, she was Jehovah's... She grew up Jehovah's Witness, but... Thankfully, poor. And she was... And I don't mean... Well, she was monetarily poor, because she was from Bolivia, but... You could know she had... She had but uh, she was half German, um, fully white. South Americans are all mixed up. <laughs> um, but she was obviously she didn't get the teaching on the resurrection from the Jehovah's Witnesses. She got it from the surrounding Catholics. So I was okay. I didn't even know anything about Jehovah's Witnesses. That well, I kind of did, but not too in depth about their theology. I remember that was kind of cool. And then, I never talk about theology. Like, it's one thing, like, if you meet me out somewhere, like, I, if I don't know you, I wouldn't, probably wouldn't open my mouth about theology for, like, a year or something. But on here, it's strange, but I don't know if there's anything I could say to a homosexual person. And I don't know if it's right to let this schismatic old Catholic group just come into the church right away and because the guy said well I've got a lot of studying to do not that much because I've already learned but that you know which I found very scary that if you don't think the Roman Catholic Church is is drastically if not more than the Protestant Church from Orthodoxy don't come into the Orthodox Church. <sighs> you want epistolic succession, you want it so quickly. If you need it that quickly and you don't want the right one, then just it's just it's just go to the Orientals. They'll 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 get you in. I mean, they've done some screwy stuff in the past. And with Metropolitan Philip, oh, just opening the floodgates. In 09, this is shortly after he destroyed my parish. And I'm probably going to go back to the Antiochians, because I just, it's, it's what I learned. It's all my prayer books are in and everything. It's, it's even saying the Nicene Creed at the OCA is so difficult, because the wording affects the way you say it, and the way you say it, it there's a certain rhythm to that. Um, even just all, I mean, not even just, but all the hymns and everything translated from Slavonic or Russian into English is different than being translated from Greek into English. There's a different meter and different rhyme, and switching from Byzantine to um, Slavic tones. It, it actually is kind of, I don't, people would think, oh, that's just such a slight thing, but it actually is kind of hard. Um, I mean, maybe I I should actually just keep going to um, the OCH. I mean, that's where my confessor's at. I'm going to have to go there at least once a month, if not twice a month still. But uh, people say, oh, is that your parish? I mean, technically, I should be going to St. Athanasios. And if not that, then <laughs> the new... Holy Transfiguration, which took Antiochian off. They did, there weren't no longer Antiochian Orthodox. There were Orthodox Christian or Christian Orthodox, which I don't know what the hell that is. Like, that's not a church somewhere? Why? church. Uh, uh, 
I have nothing to say to homosexuals because I have no idea what they're... Uh, there's nothing to say. It, it, there's no knowledge or wisdom I can bring. And probably half the things that would, they would think to say that would be comforting would just be insulting. And by the way, I don't want to insult this brother Nathaniel. Welcome to Eastern Orthodox Church, but um, do you think Catholicism is anything like, or even the old Catholic, which is what Vatican one? Is that what it is? Because in this house, it's like pre. Um, I I don't know how many Robert councils you guys had, all right? Unless it's like pre Second Nicaea probably going to have a problem. It's not going to be pre-Second Nicaea because then you just go with the other schismatics. Um, I've never heard a church holding on to Chalcedon, but not, well, I guess the Calvinists <laughs> holding on to Chalcedon, but not holding on to uh, the Second Nicaea. Um, isn't that beautiful how it's the First Nicaea, the Second Nicaea, but there's five in between. It just makes a little, catches everything. And these are only a ring of cities in Anatolia and uh, Greece. Actually, I think they're 100% in Anatolia, right? Constantinople, Ephesus, um, Nicaea, Chalcedon. I'm sure one of those cities has to be in, in, in proper Greece, or, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it, that's my message to, to gay people, is this. Utter and complete silence, except the, uh, the hum of the uh, lights overhead. It's not a good answer, or even a satisfactory answer, but that's the only thing I can say. Anything more, I guess, would just be, if I were to try to say with the Orthodox position on it, it would just be heresy, because there is no the Orthodox position on anything is love everybody. But we have a rule book that we have to follow. If you want to part of us, yeah, you're going to screw up human weakness. Um, that's a whole other thing, though. But just talking to homosexuals, even like a non-Christian, why would I? Why would they care what I thought? And why would I treat them any worse? Well, I guess this would be the whole conundrum of if, even if you say you're Christian, then it gets attached to this huge thing with the televangelists and all the people parading around and the, trying to push politics and people outside of abortion clinics and stuff like that. Which is unfortunate, but well, oh well. Peace to you. Please pray for everybody who's gone through surgery and uh, people who've had family members or friends or loved ones die recently. Um, take it easy. May God save Serbia and Syria.